All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So here today we're gonna be taking a look at a very interesting partnership just announced with Emergo. So Honeycomb provides an API marketplace for connecting smart contracts to high quality external data. So we're gonna be taking a look at that. I've got a awesome video to show you as well. And then we're taking a look here, an update from IOHK. They went ahead and released their weekly development update. So I wanted to share with you some key points regarding that. All of that is gonna be here in this video. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you guys are all doing well. So to get things started, I wanted to share with you this here. Emergo recently just came out and announced that they are gonna be working with Honeycomb. So reading a little bit from the article here, I just wanted to show you this, some key points. Honeycomb is an API marketplace that links blockchain-based smart contracts to the data sets they need to create meaningful real-world applications. Honeycomb works by connecting premium API data providers to decentralized oracles. This makes the API available for smart contracts without a centralized point of failure, which is one of the unique properties made possible by utilizing blockchain technology. On the Honeycomb API marketplace, smart contract developers can browse and access a wide variety of APIs from various different categories. All right, very cool. There's a video that I wanted to show you guys. Let's go ahead and check it out. CLC Group is a blockchain lab focused on developing smart contract solutions for a more trustless, efficient, and secure future. Honeycomb is our API marketplace that connects smart contracts to the data inputs they need to create meaningful real-world applications. Honeycomb works by connecting premium API data providers to decentralized oracles in the Chainlink network. This makes the APIs available for smart contract use cases in an end-to-end -end reliable way without a centralized point of failure. On the Honeycomb API Marketplace, smart contract developers can browse and access a vast library of these APIs from various different categories, all available for smart contracts via multiple independent chain link oracles. Through an easy to use interface, connecting your smart contract to the data it needs is made extremely simple, and we guide you throughout the process. We also host testnet oracles for our APIs so you can test your data integrations with real API data before going to production. We believe the Honeycomb API Marketplace represents the simplest way to connect your smart contract to decentralized premium API data. Visit our website at honeycomb.market for more information and follow our social media channels for updates. So very cool to see how Chainlink is going to be integrated with these APIs. Um, I think that you know when we go towards Gogan and when we see smart contracts available on the Cardano mainnet, I think that having ways to be able to extract external data is going to be extremely relevant and you know being able to do that effectively is going to be uh, paramount in order for the system to work efficiently so now piggybacking off of that why should cardano developers care about honeycomb distributed applications that use smart contracts rely on data sets from around the world apis deliver this data with the upcoming release of Gogan, so this is the phase in Cardano that will allow for smart contracts, uh, APIs are extremely important. Data types from Honeycomb's listed APIs include market data for both traditional assets and crypto, forex rates, weather data, flight data, city and population data, sports scores, etc. These are necessary for Cardano dApp developers to create distributed applications in areas such as DeFi, insurance, trade finance, sports betting, or any other data-rich dApp that requires data of events that happen outside of the blockchain. Honeycomb is aiming to support the Cardano blockchain with the availability of APIs after the launch of smart contracts. All right, and then they've got this very cool infographic 
design that shows exactly what their services are and who they are catered towards. So for smart contract developers, Honeycomb acts as a marketplace of authenticated APIs available on the Chainlink network. Our goal is to reduce the amount of time smart contract developers spend searching for viable data sources and increase the amount of time they can spend actually building smart contracts. For node operators, Honeycomb enables connection to multiple high-quality paid APIs simultaneously and without the need to pay risky monthly subscription fees. Since external adapters come bundled with the APIs, there will also be no need to develop your own, drastically reducing the effort required for nodes to connect to paid APIs. And lastly, for API providers, Honeycomb offers the easiest way to monetize data in the smart contract economy with zero technical effort required. Listing an API on the Honeycomb marketplace immediately makes it available for purchase by thousands of nodes in the Chainlink network. Simply choose the per call price of your API and we do the rest, creating the external adapter and marketing the API to Chainlink node operators. All right, so Cardano, Chainlink, I think it's a potent mix, I really do. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, this announcement. I think that there is a huge potential for both of these platforms to do very well and complement each other perfectly. So next piece of news, I wanted to share with you all the IOHK weekly development update. Lots of exciting things happening recently. We just saw the friends and family Haskell testnet go underway. We saw, I believe, 19 stake pool operators who had the unique privilege of being able to be considered pioneers for this endeavor. And they are going to be tasked with uh, exercises to help build the node. And then later on down the road, they're actually going to be given the responsibility to help onboard other stake pool operators. So I want to say thank you to all the pioneers first and foremost. I think that these guys are going to be really the ones that paved the way for Shelly on mainnet. So to get into the update, what I wanted to show you guys here, so this is gonna be an all-encompassing update of essentially what had happened over the past week. It talks about several different key things regarding Daedalus, Adrestia, networking, DevOps. I wanted to just go ahead and briefly break down all of these key points as opposed to reading it word for word. Just wanna give you a brief summary as to what it all means. So to get started, Daedalus, recently had the release of Daedalus 1.1.0. So this release uh, was a patch or it was a fix that we saw for some user interface and user experience issues. Um, also, the team has been working on implementing the new wallet recovery phase verification feature for Daedalus on the incentivized testnet. Uh, and then also, I'm sure you guys will be excited to hear about this. The team has also been working on building a prototype of hardware wallet features for mainnet Daedalus. So if you have a ledger or if you have a Trezor, and if you hold your ADA on a hardware wallet, Daedalus user interface is going to be coming very soon. So excited about that. So next up is going to be Adrestia. So Adrestia had quite a few technical updates happen. Uh, one of the most notable was that the team worked on support for importing generated addresses, which will allow exchanges that already support ADA to more easily migrate to the new code base. The team also worked on writing an example YAML configuration for support installation via Docker, allowing technical users to get Cardano wallet functionality running quickly with all supporting services. Users can now get started with the Cardano wallet with just two commands. Very cool to see that, I think that's awesome. It's gonna help out in terms of getting these exchanges onboarded when we see Shelly. Next up is gonna be networking. So the networking team has been working on Shelly command line interface tools and the key evolving signatures implementation. So they simplified the handshake negotiation interface, reviewed the new multiplexing implementation and had some design discussions about the connection manager before implementing the results. All right, and then DevOps. So this is where we were talking earlier about the friends and family uh, Haskell testnet. This week, the DevOps team supported the launch of the friends and family testnet, as well as working with developers and Q&A to test command line parameters and operational procedures required by pool operators. So guys, that's what we're looking at with DevOps. 
Next is going to be Cardano decentralization. So this week, the team spent some time updating their tools and benchmarking setup to reflect recent changes to the APIs. They'll soon be integrating those tools into the Cardano Haskell repository to future proof against incompatibility. The team has also been making changes to the metrics interface, as well as updating the local state query protocol to some of the additional operations needed for the new Shelly wallet and command line interface. The work on annotated serialization was also finished this week, which has resulted in some major performance boosts. And finally, the team undertook a significant refactor of how keys work on the Shelly code, which uncovered a bug, which is now fixed, that should make the Shelly ledger much easier to interact with. Very cool. I know that's going to be very important as we go through that transition. And lastly is going to be Gogan. So even though we still have yet to see Shelly on mainnet, they are working on all these iterations of the project in tandem. So they're they're not going from one thing to another. They're working on everything together. And they're building it almost like a puzzle where these pieces fit in as time goes on. So this week, the Plutus team upgraded to the latest pure script package set and tested that communication is running smoothly. The team also worked on how to handle contract events in the smart contract backend, specifically how to handle all the requests that are issued by contracts, as well as how to manage the state of contract instances. They also made updates to the built-in section of the technical report and added a visual diagram. And then we can see here from the Marlowe team, they made various layout improvements to the Marlowe playground. These include a set of fixes to stabilize icons, the repositioning of buttons to increase visibility, improvements to the display of the transition composer, toggling of the gist buttons when panels are contracted, as well as general sizing changes to panels to improve their readability. So very excited guys, there's lots of updates happening. I wanted to share that with you all. Hopefully you're able to find some value from this. If you're interested in Cardano and if you did enjoy this video here today, be sure to smash that like button for me. If you guys are new to the channel and if you wanna stay updated with content like this, click that subscribe button on your way out and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I post a new video. All right, everyone, that is what I have for you all here today. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.